Hey guys, Emma here. Um, today I'm going to talk about how important and awesome it is to have friends that have stuff in common with you. Which, okay, sounds really dumb when I say it like that, but what I mean is just like, sometimes, like, for instance, when I was in grade and middle school, you're you are you're just you're thrown into a class with a bunch of kids because they're your age and you just don't necessarily have anything in common with them. Um no matter I mean, it's not anything you did, it's not anything they did, you just don't have the same interests. When I went to my grade grade and middle school um, I only had, like, three three friends, which, you know, that's, it's a good number, I think. Because I don't like to be around a lot of people. I usually just like a small number of people, so that's not a problem for me. But for some people, it'd be like, three friends? What? <laughs> but the thing was with these friends, I mean, it kind of felt like in my class... There was this this group of just the popular people, like the ones that I knew when we when we got to high school, they'd be the higher up people. And I am a nerd, like I'm more of the shy nerd, geek, whatever you want to call it, dork, that type of person. And I'm I'm just not. I never was popular. I and that doesn't bother me, but. Anyway, so, like, in grade school, I could tell that these people would be the ones that would be more popular, and whatever, but, so we didn't really have anything in common, and I feel even if I would have tried, they would have not accepted me, <laughs> but, yeah, so one of my friends was my cousin, um, who I've been, obviously, been friends with since birth, you know, I've known her. For a long time and of course we we get we get along great and we have a lot in common a lot more in common now than we did then but we still had stuff in common then and then in second grade there was this other there was this new girl and uh we befriended her and then there later on down the road there were a couple more people that like i got along with that didn't necessarily get i don't know that didn't It was kind of, to me, it felt like if you were, weren't with them, you were with us. You know, kind of like, not sides, not cliques. I mean, they were kind of clicky sometimes, but not, I was welcome. Obviously, I welcome people, and I'm not, I'm not a jerk about it. But it just, it sort of just felt like the us and them sort of deal. And um, with these friends, I mean, I, I liked having these friends. They're great people. Um and they're super nice, but when I got to high school, we started to not have as much in common, uh, my cousin aside, we, we still do, but, like, these, these other people, I, I rarely saw them, obviously, because in high school, it's bigger, and you have different classes with people, and depending on what you take, honors or regulars, which most of my friends from middle school took, took honors with me, so, but, yeah, I, I started to, you know, have to make new friends, and for me, I'm not the greatest at, I think I've said this, I'm not the greatest at making friends, honestly, um, it, it scares me because, <laughs> sometimes because I'm just, I'm afraid people will think I'm just completely weird, and I am completely weird, that's the thing, but if you have a problem with me being completely weird, then you're not gonna be a good friend for me, because, I'm weird, you know, and I don't want to weird people out, and I don't want to scare them away, but if, th I mean, that's necessary if, if, um, if they can't stand weirdos. <laughs> so in high school, I had to, you know, start all over, basically. I mean, I had my friends, but one of us had a bit of a f fight, I guess you could call it, and so I didn't talk to her, and then... I, bear, I I had a couple classes with my cousin, but I hardly saw her, and so I was like, okay, I need to start finding friends. And I found the most amazing 
group of people that just, um, just ever in, in, in freshman year, second semester, in a PE class. We all hated PE, and but we, we made it work because we all just were getting along so well. And I've been friends with those people ever since, and it's going to be weird to see them leave now. <laughs> They're all going off and doing amazing things, and uh, I'm very proud of them, and I'm, I'm glad that they're here. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that they get to do what they've always wanted to do. But I am glad that they were in my life, and I hope they continue to be in my life, even though I won't see them all the time. <laughs> and what brought this up was... Last night I was I was pretty upset because work was did not go well, and and then when when I'm up like when I'm upset about one thing it turns into everything else like I'll be thinking about like this person at work that just seems to hate me and then I just think about other things that upset me and it's stupid and I shouldn't do it but that's just what I do and. So I was thinking about the fact that my friends are leaving really soon and I'm going to have to start all over again, which I hate. And my mom keeps trying to get me to do all these social things, which I don't want to do. Like, he... I have this cousin who... He is really, like, he's a social butterfly, basically. Like, he'll be friends with anyone and he wants me to go to all these things and just... I can't be that. I can't... I can't be friends with everyone, for one. I, there are just some people that I just, like, that are his friends that I'm like, no, I can't be friends with those people. And I have my reasons, you know. Like, I guess he's just, he's, it's easier for him to overlook things like that than me. Um, so my mom just keeps wanting me to do those things, and I'm just like, I really don't want to. And, and of course, I made this new group of friends through Skype, um, through my favorite blog, actually, uh, hey there, Gisela, and, uh, she, she, uh, ha she made a Skype group, and she wanted, she was like, does anyone want to join it, and I was like, yeah, I want to join it, um, and then I met, I met so many amazing people through that, too, but the problem with that is they're far away from me, you know, I can't just call them up and be like, hey, you want to go bowling or to the movies or something which is upsetting because if I really if I did have them all here I, I would totally go hang out with them all the time and it just it uh, it upsets me that I'm that making friendships on the internet is easier um than in real life because I can't they're not here you know I know this was just really rambly but this is just what I've been thinking about lately. Just friends and... I don't know. I just... When it comes to friendships... I mean, I feel as if right now, with my Skype group and my, gr my, my group, I have as many friends as I could ever need. That's not to say that, like, I can't make any more friends. I've reached max capacity. No. Of course, I'm open to having more friends. I just... I don't know. I... I like the number I have now. I don't know what number that is, because it... kind of fluctuates depending on who was added to the Skype group and stuff like that, but... I like the friends I have now, and... And college scares me. That's basically what sums it up. Like, getting... having to know... Like, having to get to know people again from the start. It's kind of like when you start a Minecraft world all over again. You have to, you know, make the basic tools again before you can get to the good stuff, like diamonds. <laughs> I just made a Minecraft for- okay. <laughs> okay, Emma. Let's- let's- alright. But, uh, you know, it just- it it's like you have to start all over again. You have to get to know these people. And- some people will probably be jerks because, I mean, we're not perfect and sometimes that's just how people are, as I've learned recently, but that's a story for another day. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it Just starting all over again, 
scares me, and I don't like change. Um, Alright, I'm done talking about that, but I do have to say that I will not be making thumbnails for a while because I, um, when I got this laptop initially, I think beginning of June, um, I, I got a free trial of Word, like I downloaded a free trial of Word, um, and I'm not good with design and, like, things like that, so I, like, made it in Word and then would change the colors and the titles every day, or every other day when I uploaded these. But since I don't have Word anymore, I cannot access it. So I'm sure there's another way to do it, and I will figure that out someday. But that day is not today. So you, there's no, there. if there's a thumbnail, it will be just like me, generic, one of the faces I make. Unless they're all just terrible, then there will be no thumbnail. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and also I wanted to say, in case I didn't mention this or you didn't notice... I'M OFF THE FLOOR! Woo! Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alright, um... Thanks for listening to my rant, uh, my fears... and... concerns about making new friends, I guess. I always start out saying I'm gonna talk about something, and then I don't... Like, I do something kind of similar, but not really. So I didn't really talk about... How important it is to have friends you have in common, or things in common with. Yeah, things in common with. But I did talk about friendship, kind of, so. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!